everyone, it's Madeline at Italy Beyond the Obvious, and in this video I'm going to talk about the Italian autostrada, or highway. At Italy Beyond the Obvious, when we create trips for our travelers, we always talk to them about driving and renting a car, and we get a lot of questions about driving on Italian highways. And I usually divide driving in Italy into kind of three categories. Um, city driving, countryside driving, and highway or autostrada driving. So in this video, we're just going to talk about driving on the autostrada. Now I have five tips for you in this video, and I've got my notes, and so if I'm glancing over at my notes, it's just because I don't want to forget any of the five tips that I have for you. Okay, so tip number one. The autostrada is a toll road. That means you pay to use it. So if you are on an autostrada, it means you're paying to drive on it. If you're not paying to drive on it, you're not on an autostrada. Very straightforward. Um, and I'll go into more detail about exactly uh, what the toll roads mean. Um, the second thing to note is that the toll roads, the autostrada, are indicated with green signs. So if you are driving through the countryside and you see a sign, let's say you're going to Florence, and you come up to an intersection and there's a sign that is in green that says Firenze to the left or Florence to the left, and it's green, that means that direction is gonna get you onto the autostrada to Florence, which is a toll road. Now at the same intersection, you might see a blue sign that says Firenze or Florence to the right. And that means that the road to the right will also take you to Florence, but it won't be a toll road. It'll be a smaller blue road and the and free, so not a, you know it won't cost you to drive on it. And probably it'll have a slower speed limit and you know fewer lanes and all of that. Okay, so those are the first two things I wanted to mention about Italian autostrada. Um, the third thing I wanted to mention is that for some reason Italians have this reputation of driving really fast or people have said to me, oh, there are no speed limits in Italy. Well, there are speed limits. Um, you have to respect them and there are actually cameras. And so if you are speeding, you can actually get a ticket in the mail um, via your car rental company, of course, who will add a processing fee on so don't speed um, that said there's also a minimum speed limit that you have to adhere to if you're on the autostrada and you'll see that um, the speed limits are very clearly posted um, along the same vein the left lane of a of an Italian autostrada is only for passing so if you are hanging out in the left lane and you're not passing anyone that's when you're going to get those aggressive Italian drivers coming up inches from your bumper going at 80 miles an hour and that's where people get freaked out because they think the Italian drivers are so aggressive they're just saying get out of the way you're supposed to be passing and if you're not passing you get out of that lane so basically you come up behind someone Someone, you would need to pass them you move to the left you pass them and you move back over to the right you do not hang out in any lane and if you're still um, going slower then you move to the right again um, I will add that you should absolutely not pass on the right in Italy it is dangerous because Italians don't shoulder check when they move to the right they assume that when they're lane changing and moving right that everybody by default to the right is going slower than them so when they move to the left they'll shoulder check and make sure another faster car isn't coming up behind them but when they move to the right they just move so again very dangerous to pass on the right in Italy I recommend you don't do it Okay, my fourth um, tip is, um, well, that was my fourth tip, stay to the right, um, unless you're passing. Okay, my fifth tip is about the tolls, and this is the most, um, these are the most questions that we get about driving on the autostrada, is tell us about the tolls. So essentially, when you get onto the autostrada, there will be a, a a, 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 a booth that you kind of drive through with not manned there's no person in there it'll say biglietto big it's it's phonetically it would be biglietto b-i-g-l-i-e-t-t-o and so you drive up you roll down your window you push a button and you get the ticket now you hold on to that ticket that's your entry point into the autostrada now when you exit you'll go through the um toll booth again and you'll put your ticket into the machine at the exit. The machine will see how long you were on the autostrada and you can put in a credit card um, and pay for your toll. So it's very simple uh, if that, in the most basic, most smooth experience. Now there's a few things to know. The first thing to know is that Italians have a transponder in their car and it's a 
It's a subscription called Telepass. And so as you are exiting the Autostrada, you will see lanes that say Telepass. And you will note that nobody slows down when they go through these lanes. They're not stopping to put their ticket in a machine. Nobody's paying for anything. They're whizzing through the Telepass lanes at 70 miles an hour because the transponder in the Italian's car will get the, um, the, the amount for the toll and it will go on their bill and their bill will be sent to their home address and they'll cover it like that. So you do not need a transponder if you go to Italy as a tourist. Don't even bother with trying to get one or trying to um, you know, figure out the telepass system. You don't wanna be in that system. You also do not want to go through that telepass lane. If you accidentally end up going through the telepass lane, do not stop you'll create an accident. There's no um, person there. There's nobody that you can stop and say, oh my gosh, help, I have a ticket. What am I gonna do? I, you know, don't stop, you'll, you'll create an accident. Um, what you need to do is proactively pay that toll. And I'm gonna put the link below to the place that you can go online to proactively pay your toll. And if you pay the toll immediately, um, online, you'll only pay for the actual toll. If you don't go online and pay that immediately, you will get a fine in the mail. And that fine can unfortunately be between 200 and 500 US dollars. It might come a year later. Um, it will have clear instructions on how you pay it. Um, it might actually be be come through your um, car rental company with again, a processing fee on top of it. Um, and so you definitely need to be proactive and pay that toll. And again, I will put the link under the video about how you can do that. Um, so don't stress out if you end up in the telepass lane, but also pay attention and try not to drive in the telepass, not to drive through the telepass lane. Um, now there are a couple additional types of tolls. Um, there's a toll road in Italy that um, where you don't take a ticket and you're just driving along and all of a sudden you see a toll booth and you might, I've, this has happened to me, I freak out and I'm like, ah, I didn't take a ticket, I don't, yeah, you know, I don't have a ticket, but really these are fixed um, price tolls and they're usually a really small amount. They're two euros or three euros or I think I had one that was six euros once. But basically, Italians, um, you know, they, they, they have almost like a, a basket and you kind of drive through and throw money into the basket. So I recommend that you have cash on you. In general, in Italy, you should have cash on you. You should never be walking around anywhere or driving around anywhere with zero cash. But you should have some small change and some, and some small bills on you for these types of tolls um, because these ones you cannot stop and pay with a credit card. Um, so I'm going to check my notes and see if I missed anything. Um, I think that's it. So those are my five tips. So number one, the uh, Autostrada is a toll road. Number two, the signs are green. Number three, there are speed limits um, and cameras. Number four, stay to the right unless you are passing. Number five, uh, take a ticket, pay your ticket with a credit card when you exit and do not go through the telepass lane. Um, my tips about tolls. Um, so that's it. Um, I would uh, be happy if you would get our free driving in Italy ebook. I'm going to put the link down below and give us your email address and we will send you our driving in Italy ebook, which has a chapter on um, driving on the autostrada. And um, please subscribe or like this video if you found this useful because I'm gonna be putting out more videos like this and I'd love to have you get notified. And of course, last but not least, if you are traveling to Italy and would like help with your trip, that's what we do at Italy Beyond the Obvious. We create incredible custom Italy vacations for people and we have been doing that since 2008. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.